We have new information tonight about a terrible crash involving a little girl in Southeast DC. Police now say the person who hit the five year old and her dad while they were both walking to the pool was drunk. Our Melissa Kim spoke to a neighbor who heard the crash and this is disturbing, discovered the little girl trapped underneath the car. More than 24 hours later, you can still see the extent of the damage here that police say a woman caused when she was driving under the influence. She drove her car into this building here behind me. I spoke to the woman who lives next door and she tells me exactly what happened. There's a child under the car. This is the spot where Jocelyn Sanderson saw five year old Racy underneath a car on the 3200 block of 4th Street Southeast. Her arm was like back here and then like one was in front of her and she was trying to reach out. She was still breathing. I was really happy that she was still breathing. Just steps away, a man's slipper and bloodstained towel are still on the sidewalk where Jocelyn saw a man, Racy's dad, in pain. When I saw him, I was like, are you okay? He was like, he was literally crying. He got on the phone with his wife. DC police say 32 year old Thania Vinay hit a parked car with people inside before she hit Racy and her dad and this house around one o'clock on Saturday afternoon. DC police say she left the scene but was arrested not long after in a nearby alley. Jocelyn still horrified that someone could be so reckless. The woman who did this really does deserve to be in jail because it's like, ma'am, you're driving drunk and you hit a child. That's terrible. But she's grateful that the crash wasn't any worse. I'm glad that both of them are alive. I spoke to Tia Gordon, Racy's mother, earlier, and she tells me that she is in stable condition right now, but she's asking for any and all prayers so that her little girl can have a full and speedy recovery. In Southeast, Melissa Kim, WUSA 9.